Hey guys, Aitnim right here. So today I'm going to show you uh, just a couple exercises based on split paradiddles uh, from teaching a lot of intermediate drummers. I know that a lot of drummers out there are not aware that you can split paradiddles. And um, yeah, there's a lot of uh, potential doing that. So let, let's go right into the exercises. So regular paradiddle. Uh, wh what we're going to do is we're going to play them groove based. Uh, right hand plays on the hi-hat, left hand plays on the snare drum. And we're going to accent uh, the beginning of each paradiddle. So with the regular paradiddle, it's going to look like this. And when you do play the accents on the hi-hat, um, play bass drum at the same time. So it sounds like this. So that's the regular paradiddle. The double paradiddle, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left, will sound like this. But we also have the triple paradiddle, which is going to sound like this. Okay, so now we're going to split. That means um, when you do play, let, uh, let's go back to the single paradiddle. When you do play the paradiddle, there's uh, uh, the first four notes, which I call the, the, the right hand at side, right, left, right, right. And then there's the second half of it, which I call the left hand at side, which is left, right, left, left. So for, th for the first exercise, we're just going to take the first half, which is right, left, right, right. And then we're going to take the, this cable is bugging me. <laughs> then we're going to take the <clears throat> second half of the, the double paradiddle. So the sticking is, is uh, like this. With the bass drum. All right, um, second example, we're, we're just going to reverse that. So we're going to take the first half of the double paradiddle and the second half of the single paradiddle. Sticking is going to be like this. All right, pr pretty neat, right? Uh, just ignore for now that it's uh, it's going to be uh, why well, if you keep repeating these, it's going to be in a in an odd time signature. We're just going to push this aside for now. Um, so the the there's one more example I want to show you. Um, let's take the first half of the uh, triple paradiddle and the second half of the single paradiddle. So sticking is going to be like this.
All right, so I'm, I'm sure you get the idea by now and, and you, you can uh, create your own variations by combining just these three simple parallels, single, doubles and triples uh, by splitting them. Um, so let, let's go back to the first example. I, I just want to show you uh, how you could uh, or should approach uh, throwing in uh, more interesting bass drum patterns. So uh, the first example was singles, uh, what the first half of the singles and the second half of the doubles, right? So that went like this. So at, at first explore um, adding the bass drum to where your right hand is. That is much easier than uh, uh, playing it over the left hand. So it's a good first approach. Uh, so in the, in the, with the single parallel there you have uh, three right hand strokes. So just add three bass drums. So uh, play it like this. Then you could try taking away one of those. Let's say we take away the second bass drum. So you're left with this. Or play the first two right hands with the bass drum and, and skip the third one. Or play, uh, go back to just playing the first one and then play the two right hands we have on the, on the left hand side. Uh, so that's like. Right, and um, just go through all those variations and you're, you're gonna build up the, um, the patterns and the, uh, uh, the coordination you need for that. And then you can look into um, adding bass drums to where the left hand is as well. So uh, let's just play the first, um, the first two, uh, like um, first two bass drums basically uh, available within the sixteenth note um, subdivision. So that's going to be the first and the second. So. Right, and then you can go from there, just add more bass drums, take some away, move, move them around. Uh, when you do play the bass drum together with the left hand notes, uh, there's a bit of a challenge there because you want to play a strong bass drum, uh, but you also want to want to keep playing the, the soft notes or the ghost notes on the snare drum. So that's a bit of a challenge. Uh, so watch out for, for your volumes right there. Um, one more thing I would like to add, uh, you, you, can, you can play these uh, combinations very nicely as, as fills as well. Um, or you can, you can uh, be a bit more creative with, with your right and left hand setup. Let's say right hand is playing on the, on the right cymbal or on a stack here and left hand is playing the soft notes on the uh, hi-hat like this. And as a fill, um, a good idea is to, to accent all the right hands so you have a bit of a right hand lead going. So with the first sticking single parallel and double parallel, uh, it would sound like this. So practice that first separately and then put it together with, with the groove you're playing. So uh, apply the same sticking you had with the groove to a fill. Uh, so, like this.
so um, hopefully that gave you some ideas. That's uh, a lot of uh, cool stuff to explore, I think. Uh, so have fun with that. See you in my next video. Take care.